All right, guys, Jerry's Aid Nick Hamburg here. We have one of our rear end housings that we're gonna be building today, but I wanna show you the nuts and bolts of what we do when we put these things together and how we fabricate them. So right here is one of our center sections for our custom fabricated housings. And what we do here is we weld the center and the sides of all the sheet metal together to the face plate with all the internal ribbing. And then this goes over to our CNC machine shop where we then machine this into it. So you can see the shiny surface here. So this sits on its back, gets flattened out. We chuck it up in that machine so it's held firm. And then we have a giant fly cutter that cuts this. And what it does, it makes this surface perfectly flat. The next thing we do, which is the most important part of what we do, it then drills and taps all the holes on a perfect pattern. Now you ask, why would we do that? Well. When you weld all of these spots, the metal shrinks and pulls and gets weird. So if we were just to laser cut the holes in here, put the plate on there, weld this up, you're gonna now have to drill out your center section and make the holes too big to then get it to go on here, which means that's not sitting straight. So this is making this as close to perfection as possible. Once this whole center section is done, it then comes back into the shop and then we put on our plates. Now, yes, this has our logo and it looks really cool, but we're also gusseting. So it's tying in these plates with a wrap. So when we weld here, it's adding more strength. Then what we do to the bottom is we add what we call the bash guard to the bottom. What's well, also tying in the bottom because the bottom's what's smashing into all these rocks. Now, where did we learn this? Well, we learned this on a race truck because the other rear end housings that we would use before we would make our own, we'd hit rocks, it would create cracks, leaky diffs, all kinds of problems. So we integrate all of these components into our housing. Next, you're gonna watch uh, Bryson, our shop here. He's gonna cut out the tubes. He's gonna weld all this together and put in the tubes, uh, get everything straight with our straight bar, uh, weld on. Uh, all the bungs and the pieces, and this rear end will then be ready to go out to another race winning customer. So we get a bunch of raw tubings, and then we have to cut them down to the length that the customer wants. Every rear end is like fully customizable. So one tube could be longer on one side of the rear end than the other. It's all like fully up to them. So we just order these super long sticks and just cut them out. Take all the burrs off of these. And then we drill everything right here, stick it on the lathe and polish it up just like this one. So this is a three and a half inch. This is a four inch. So this is what's going on the rear end that I'm welding right now. Six grit. Then we use a drywall sandpaper to get the final finish. Then we bring these over to the rear end and tack them in. This is our mock up third member.
Mm. I'm sweating. Alright, gotta let that cool off. So this is a basic rear end. A lot of customers order them just like this. After this, it's all add-ons. Truss, four link, snouts, brakes, lower links. Anything like that is just extra. This rear end in particular has a four link, snouts, brakes, and then it's done after that. All right, so we have these bags set up for the four link tabs. Got to clean them. I'm gonna weld these washers on the, each of these. Let those cool off, and then I'll cut the truss, grind them, make them fit, and then those things go on after. This is all chromoly, so. Super strong, really expensive. Not great to like mess up on. But it welds really nice. I forgot to say, what I just cut off are actually a bend reference points. So when they stick it into the thing, it just, it'll know where to bend it. That's the truss welded on. So I got the truss welded on. After that, I gotta wait about 30 minutes, let this thing cool off, and then put the four link on. Big welded snout, brakes, all the stuff that this guy's getting. But yeah, that's it for now.